Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another day of Mark Four, brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Monday, and it's uh, May 23rd. Hey, this week we got uh, uh, Memorial Day weekend coming up here, and uh, even though we got a bit of data, it's going to be kind of a little volatile, because usually towards the end of the week, like Thursday or Friday, you get the big hedge fund guys at, where you get your big swings at, go out and find their vacation homes and stuff. Uh, we do got some important data this week. We got some uh, Fed members speaking uh, today as well as this week, including uh, Jack Yellen on Friday. We got uh, GDP coming in on Friday as well as some housing data coming in as well. So, um, and then we got winding down on the earnings reports coming are, are winding down. So it's gonna be interesting to see what we get get this week. Uh, we may have a delayed reaction coming on next week. So like maybe Tuesday stuff that you know they would have had a big swing sign like if Janet Yellen says something on Friday and they're on vacation, we may see those swings maybe early when they come back to the office uh, or market opens up on the following Tuesday. So just be a little cautious this week uh, as well as early next week uh, with where the market goes. The slightest little things could uh, tip it off. And the big thing lately has been uh, uh, June's uh, FOMC uh, coming up that it – the the chances of a rate increase uh, pop jumped up uh, considerably after the minutes and everything else. A lot of Fed speak, uh, a lot of them coming out saying that they can go up as much as two or three times this year. So, anyways, to get to the point, we got the economic calendar here today. We got just one item on the docket, and that is the market PMI, which is kind of the manufacturing numbers. And anything above 50 is uh, basically expansion. So, as you can see, we are based just treading water here. Uh, last month we had 50.8 and this month at 50 and a half. So again, just treading water there, very lackluster, not, uh, not too impressive uh, manufacturing numbers, uh, especially when we saw negative numbers contraction in New York and uh, Philadelphia area regions recently too. Uh, stock market is up uh, a bit. There's uh, The oil prices came down a little bit, but there are some head tech, uh, other uh, avenues that are jumping up. So uh, Apple and all those guys are having some good days today. And then, of course, as I mentioned before, uh, Fed members speaking this week. So that could you know, stir the markets a bit more as well. Uh, bond market, here we are. We are touching the, as you can see here, we got the resistance here. We're up about three basis points. And last week we did touch off the 100-day moving average, average, which is becoming our floor of support now. And we're touching off the ceiling. So the more times we touch it, it becomes, and we can't make it through, it becomes stronger, it makes it more difficult for us to get through. So hopefully uh, at some point this week, we may be able to break, break through it. Uh, as you can see, the 10-day moving average is now about the same as where the 25-day moving average is. Uh, so that could create that a little bit more difficult to break through as well. All right, folks, uh, you guys have a wonderful day. Rates are about the same where we left off on Friday. There's really no change in interest rates today. And this week, could be, again, uh, we could have some crazy swings uh, that wouldn't be logical or anything. All right, just be prepared this week. All right, have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Bye.